The following video is a tutorial for the basic maintenance of hammerhead mold bolted piercing tools with the screw reverse feature. This tutorial does not cover the service and maintenance of the head assembly. For service information specific to your piercing tool and head assembly, please refer to your operator's manual or contact your local authorized hammerhead trenchless equipment dealer. Before performing maintenance on your piercing tool, identify the tool model and reverse mechanism. Screw reverse tools require several turns of the rear whip hose to change the gear and will have four or more bolts on the back of the tool. Inspect the exterior of the tool body. Check for cracks, severe wear, and damage from utility strikes. Replace the body assembly when necessary, as damage could lead to future failure. Inspect the whip hose for rips or tears. Check the tail bolt heads for wear. Inspect the head assembly. Shown here is a new replaceable head assembly. The head assembly must be replaced when the wear face is worn nearly through to the body. If replacement is required, please refer to your operator's manual or contact your local authorized hammerhead trenchless equipment dealer. Perform a tip test to assure the striker is sliding freely within the body. Tip the tool. The striker should freely float from one end to another. Secure the piercing tool using either a pipe stand or a chain wrench. With two wrenches, remove the external whip hose. To remove the rear assembly, Start by loosening the tail bolts approximately two rotations each and unscrew the rear assembly from the body. Remove and clean the rear assembly. And finally, slide out the striker. Be careful not to damage the internal body threads. There are three major components to all hammerhead mole piercing tools. The body assembly, striker, and rear assembly. Inspect the tool body for debris. Inspect the body for broken or damaged threads. Repair with an internal thread file if necessary. Clean the interior of the tool body by brushing or swabbing. Remove the rings off the striker and inspect and clean the ring grooves with a wire brush or wire wheel. Do not grind, polish, or sand the striker. Inspect the ring grooves. The grooves must be square. Worn ring grooves may cause poor performance and the striker should be replaced. Inspect the length of the striker body for cracks, fractures, or any other external damage. Cracked or fractured strikers must be replaced. Perform an internal inspection of the striker bore for debris, brush, and swab as necessary. Clean the striker rings and install on the striker. Check the striker rings for wear with a straight edge. The rings should stand proud of the ring groove. Shown here is a ring in need of replacement. Notice the gap between the straight edge and the ring. Check the ring gaps with two U.S. quarters. Consult the operator's manual for exact ring gap specifications. Trim the rings if necessary. Before reinstalling the striker, lubricate the tool body and the striker rings. Install the striker into the body. Inspect the internal hose for damage or blistering rubber. Replace the internal hose if necessary. Inspect the rear assembly and clear any debris or blockage. Inspect the tail bolts for wear. 
Replace the entire set of tail bolts if found to be rounded, damaged, or severely worn. Inspect the rear anvil. Check the valve chamfer and outer surface for wear. Severely worn valves should be replaced. Using a straight edge, check the valve ring for wear. The valve ring must stand proud of the valve and valve retainer. Shown here is a valve ring in need of replacement. Notice the gap between the straight edge and the ring. Check the valve ring gap using one U.S. quarter. Trim the ring if necessary. Screw the internal hose all the way forward. Measure the length of the valve assembly from the interface of the rear anvil to the top of the valve. The length should be plus or minus a sixteenth of an inch from the specification listed in the operator's manual. If not in tolerance, further service is required. Inspect the external whip hose threads and the coupler connection. Replace as necessary. Install the valve ring and recheck the ring gap using one U.S. quarter. If necessary, trim the ring. Before installing the rear assembly, lubricate the valve ring and the striker bore. Apply anti-seize to the rear anvil and body threads. Install the rear assembly into the body. Check the operator's manual for rear assembly instructions. Some models require full installation of the rear anvil, while others require backing off the rear anvil up to an eighth of a turn. Confirm that the internal hose is completely into forward. Tighten and torque the tail bolts in a star pattern, according to manufacturer's specifications located in the operator's manual. Finish the reassembly by tightening the rear whip hose with two open face wrenches. Perform a tip test to assure the striker is sliding freely within the body. Tip the tool. The striker should float freely from one end to another. Following a regular maintenance schedule will keep your hammerhead mole piercing tools running at maximum efficiency.